everyone. Welcome back to Just the Eye Logs. I decided to do this last minute vlog since I'm off for the next three days. And today's Friday, November 3. And as you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day here in New Jersey. About a couple of weeks ago, I bought two things from Ulta. I bought the CC cream from IT and this lash blowout from IT. And I love this product because the product lasts a long time and it's high quality, but they did give me a shade a little bit too light and they gave me this older like package of mascara, which is kind of dried out already. So I'm going to exchange for the right items because they are a little bit pricey but they do last for a long time in addition i'm going to stop by trader joe's and i do need to stash up on my spaghetti noodles because we're all out of it and trader joe's pretty much has the best price of spaghetti and a pretty good quality as well i had a couple of ladies help me out and get me the right shade so i pretty much took off the makeup so you don't see it but i'm gonna go home and try the foundation that they gave me and it is the it product that I like, but this time it's shade darker. They also recommended me a blush from Chanel, and I'm gonna try that too. I know the prices might be a little high, but the product is high quality, and it does last a very long time. Here's the shade that they recommended. It's neutral tan, and I do need something a little darker for filming, so it may look a little darker on me in person, but on camera should work out along with my uh, powder foundation. They even have less expensive products if you guys are trying to save some money. And so, yeah, it's a time of year where you can start buying some gifts. They even have Hello Kitty. Look how cute this is. And they also have some perfumes that you can try. And they also have rollerballs if you are in a budget as well. So, yeah, this is my little treat for Friday. And while we don't mind, they have some Dior. A little strong. This is for a guy, so I wouldn't recommend that for myself. <laughs> I'm here at Trader Joe's. I'm gonna be quick. I'm gonna get these um, sour cream and onion corn pops. I'm gonna get two bags. It's only two fifty, and then I'm gonna go stock up on my spaghettis. All right. So before I get the spaghetti, I'm gonna get a bag of string cheese. My daughter's been liking string cheese lately at school and she does like the Land O'Lakes brand but I'm going to try her, let her try the Trader Joe's brand. So this is $3.49 which is not bad for this package and this is what my cart looks like. I haven't tried the sample yet, it's there. There's this like uh, fair trade coffee that I love that's pretty much better than, um, what is this, Tim Hortons. So this is it, the Fair Trade Organic Sumatra Coffee. I love this. This is whole beans and I do grind my, the coffee myself. I have like a little hand grinder at home. All right guys, we are home now. I have my small grocery haul from Trader Joe's on the table. I have the 10 packages of spaghetti and this is like the regular spaghetti. It's not too thin. Then I have the organic Sumatra coffee. I have the sour cream and onion corn puffs, which is a snack for my girls. And then the string cheese that I want my daughter to try. And that's gonna be for her snack as well. My daughter Serena also made this pumpkin pie at her culinary arts class. So all this is homemade, including the crust. And then she has this like um, whipped cream. So they do get to bring some home from what they cooked. And so she brought a pretty good slice home. We're gonna try it out. At Trader Joe's, I did spend $27, which is not bad considering I have 10 packages of pasta, but I did spend pretty much double than that at Ulta. So yeah, I ended up buying something else besides the exchange. I did get like a Chanel blush, which I'll be trying that on. The sales lady was kind of like telling me like the creams are kind of like the cream blushes are in season right now. And I do want something like moisturizing on my skin. So I said, okay, I'll try it out. Anyway, so that's why I spent $57. So right now I'm just, cooking my daughter's food, which is the ramen for her afternoon snack. And then later on, I'm going to be cooking the pizzas for our video. And that video is going to be posted hopefully later this month. I did go to Costco earlier this week, and that's where I bought the five packages of um, pizza. And so I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. So finally, today's it. I'm going to wait for my family to arrive, and we're going to have a pizza party and film the whole entire thing. There's something about editing that makes it fulfilling even though it takes a big part of your day. 
I find the reward when the video is complete and knowing that a part of your heart and soul was put into the video. When others edit your content, it is a lot easier, but it may not totally capture your essence. All right, so I just finished editing Thanksgiving in a Pop video that's going to be posted tonight and today's November 3. So this video is kind of like an inspiration for our upcoming Thanksgiving holiday. But that video took me about two and a half to three hours to edit, which is not bad considering how long I do take to edit videos. While that's uploading, I have my oven going. I'm gonna start cooking my pizza for our next pizza video for tonight. The boys are here, but they did step out of the house for a few minutes. And then when they come back, we're gonna all basically have a pizza party and then basically vote to see which one tastes the best. I won't let you know what the results are in this video. That's gonna be for the another video called um, Costco Pizza Party something, I'll figure it out. But anyway, let me cook the pizza and I gotta tidy up the living room because it is quite a mess and then we're gonna start filming. This is what's left of the pizza on my ottoman. We have the plain pizza from Costco. I'm gonna show you what's left in my kitchen, but this is pretty much the bulk of the pizza that's left over. Hey guys, so it's almost 11 p.m. now and we just finished watching Quiz Lady. That was a really, really funny movie with Aquafina. If you guys haven't watched it yet, go ahead and watch it. And we do have like little bits of pizza left over, but that was a fun video to film. And hopefully that pizza video will be posted in also another two weeks from now. I still have a few videos to edit, including this one. Let me show you what is left of the pizza before we head to bed. It's kind of a hot mess right now, but again, this is what's left over. I think the one that won was a deep dish Detroit style pizza, which I did mention that was my favorite. So my kids kind of like picked up on that as well as my husband. Anyway, my kitchen table is a mess. I'm gonna go tidy up my kitchen just a little bit so it's presentable in the morning. And then I'm gonna head for bed because it's pretty late already and I'm kind of tired from the full day as well as filming and editing my YouTube videos. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday now and it's about 7.45 in the morning. We have church today and we have a meeting. So before I get ready for church, I'm gonna make these blueberry muffins from the Dollar Tree. I know one of them is wild berry, but this is what I have. So I'm gonna stretch this recipe out using old fashioned oats. Most times I try to stretch out a meal or a dessert. You can also make an unhealthy dessert a little more nutritious by adding protein, fiber, and natural flavors from fruits. I find that baking muffins is forgiving and you can add simple ingredients to make it more nutritious like oats, extra egg, milk instead of water, or butter instead of oil. The outcome always tastes better because the added ingredients are fresh and simple. I did film the level eight grace luggage sets. That took me hours to film. And I find it easier when we go somewhere and do like a real life vlog. But this time I decided, you know what, let me just get one of the videos done and uh, do the filming. So that took me a long time. I would say about three to four hours long, which is ridiculous, but that's how I am. And it wasn't like a straight four hours. It was like more like interrupted with, um, dropping off and picking up and all that. If you guys are interested in purchasing the Grace luggage set or even the Luminous luggage set or the textured one, just use my coupon code below. It's ilogs10. And also I like to help you guys save money. If you look at the levels8.com, sometimes they do have 20%. So I'm not making any money out of it if you don't use my coupon code, but you guys are saving money at the end. Good morning, everybody. It's a crazy morning here right now. But today is Sunday and we just had our daily savings overnight. So we have an extra hour of sleep. So before heading to bed last night, I did clean a good portion of my room. I have like these pile of clothes just like there for like a good week. So I really needed to distribute all those clothes out and have the kids put their clothes away. And then this morning, I decided to go ahead and put away the clothes or organize the clothes that was in my like, I have like a chest in my room, which I haven't like access in like, I don't know, six months to a year. So that took me like a, maybe an hour to an hour and a half. And then I decided to do like a YouTube short. So I just posted a Thanksgiving in a pot video 
and I decided to try to promote it by making a YouTube short. And I'm pretty new at YouTube shorts, so that took me like an hour, maybe an hour and a half to do. Yeah, I woke up pretty early today. I think it was, I don't know, 5.30, and that's adjusted time, and now it's about... 8 16. so this morning i do need to make some breakfast and i decided to make some fried rice we have like old fried rice from yesterday from our food that we brought from the the potluck at church so i'm gonna cook up some scrambled eggs just mix it up kind of make like a hibachi style rice but i wanted to make also um some sausages which i don't have i may just stop by lytle just to get a bag of sausages and also see what sales that they have but the rest of the day is pretty slow i'm not like planning to do anything my husband's off my kids are here so we might just have like just a little downtime today all right so i didn't have to go out right now because my mom helped me make some breakfast this is our scrambled eggs and we had a couple of hot dogs that was left over and then we have our pan over here that she's going to start frying up the fried rice all right so we're going to compete with a little noise in this kitchen but i want to show you this old school percolator that i've had I bought this in a thrift store about two years ago and I really haven't used it. And yesterday when we went to church, they made coffee using a percolator. So I really, really like the flavor. So I'm gonna give this a try. So according to the online directions, you take an eight ounce cup of water to one tablespoon of ground coffee, which I have pre-ground here. I have about 32 ounces of water. We're gonna try this Dunkin Donuts coffee that smells so good. This doesn't need a filter. I'm using more than four tablespoons, but that's okay. I like strong coffee. The water is not hot in here. I should have put hot water, but it's only, it's only four cups. And this should heat up when it's, or light up when it's done. I'm using my nurse cup life that my friend gave me because I am a nurse. <laughs> oh wow, the coffee is really, really light. It doesn't look like I put enough in it. All right, so you see guys, I think I'm gonna have to add some more coffee. I did add four more tablespoons of ground coffee to the percolator, so hopefully that's gonna taste good. And while that's getting done, I'm gonna eat some of the fried rice that my mom cooked. But besides the hot dogs and eggs, she did put some ground beef and some spinach that we had like in, as an omelet. It's a good way to kind of like use up food that's in the refrigerator that can be made into fried rice. I normally don't eat fried rice, but I'm kind of hungry right now. And honestly, my throat is like hurting me a little bit. So this is gonna be comforting because it's nice and hot and my coffee sounds like it's done too. Yeah, it's lit up already. All right, so take two on my coffee. Let's see if it's gonna look darker. A little darker. I think that's pretty um, good enough. So I would definitely use two tablespoons per eight ounces of water. All right, so there's a the coffee. Hey guys, we're in Target parking lot right now and I'm looking for a new crock pot. So I did look online to see what crock pots are available and I really didn't like any of them. So maybe if I look in person, I might like it better. I do want to look around, but more specifically in the kitchen area and see what I can get for my channel. Hey guys, we're here in the hearth and hand section of Target and I found a New Year's gift for my daughter Serena. So we don't celebrate Christmas, we are celebrating a New Year's gift to each other. So for the past few years, we started to gift each other a gift for New Year's. And I found something just perfect because this is what she loves. So this is like a vintage speaker from, it's a Bluetooth speaker from Hearth and Hand. They do have another one on the table, but I think I'm gonna get this pretty early now because um, they might not have any more later on. But this is only $40. So one's like solid gift, $40 is actually a uh, very inexpensive for New Year's gift. The hearth and hand section in Target is by far my most favorite place to look through. It is the perfect pop of color. It's slightly muted, it's classy. I just love to go look at it every time I come to Target. It is a bit pricey, so you really have to slim down what your favorite items are and what is your need. Even though I don't always purchase something every time I visit Target, I can still come here, look around, and just relax a little bit. 
Also, there is a foresty green kitchen aid stand mixer I always look for. Definitely overpriced, but looking at the deep green color always gives me a sense of comfort and relaxation. Alright, so I did find a slow cooker. It's not necessarily a slow cooker, but it does multiple things. It does pressure cook, slow cook, saute, steam, keeps food warm, cooks rice, and can make yogurt, which everybody knows a yogurt, I mean, an Instant Pot can make yogurt. Anyway, this is the brand Instant Pot Rio. And let's see, is it on sale? Uh, it says Possible Cooker Pro. Not sure if this is the one that's on sale though. All right, so this is not the one on sale. The one on sale is actually a eight and a half quart. Anyway, this is the one I do want because it's wider. I like the wider base and the shorter uh, profile so it can fit underneath cabinets. But I love, love, love this. And this is $130, so not on sale. I'm going to wait a little longer to see if anything goes on sale. I'm going to also look on Amazon to see how much this is. But this is the one that I want because it does multiple functions and I like the design of it. Alright, so I do need some utensils for cooking. Mine is pretty much torn up on the handle. And these are reasonably priced at $3 each and they're comfortable. They do have like a set over here that's for $20 but there's 10 pieces and not all the pieces I need. So I'm just going to stick with what I have here and then I'll, I can also add a couple more if I need extra. They have this whole wall of chocolates on sale for half off. And what I have in my cart right now is Reese's Pieces. Let me just go over it. I asked a lady to scan it and she said this is a dollar and I think like 92 cents. So that's really, really cheap. So I'm gonna get a few more. Like this one says Franken Cup. There's like a Frankenstein on the back of it. All right, so we're here in the refrigerated section. And I'm just getting some ideas of what I could cook on my channel. They have the grilled chicken pesto with vegetables. They have grilled chicken marsala, beef chimchiri, which has tender beef strips with potatoes, green beans, red bell peppers, and chimchiri sauce. So I'm going to have to search that up. They also have some grilled chicken pesto and vegetables and a Southwest style chicken burrito bowl. You can quickly recreate these recipes for a fraction of the cost, like chicken shiitake bowl with just a few ingredients. Add meat vegetables and pre-made sauce or search an easy sauce recipe that you enjoy all right guys so this is what i got from target i got the waffle maker i got the griddle i did want to get the electric skillet and that was on sale too for 18 dollars. but i kind of like changed my mind because i thought the skillet was a little bit too small for my size family but i did look at the reviews and they all had like 4.7 4.8 stars and everybody said that it heated very evenly so that was like my main goal of getting a new griddle what i'll be cooking tonight is a chicken with shiitake and vegetables that i saw in target so i'm just gonna try to make my own recipe using what i have on the table um, so i have the kale i have the red and yellow bell peppers i have the whole grain blend rice along with the uh, wild rice i have the baby bell mushrooms and then i have the chicken breast i do need to make some sauce i'm gonna make some kind of like almost like a teriyaki sauce but not as sweet so that one I'm gonna have to like fiddle around and try to create a sauce. Then I also got some utensils or cooking utensils for my channel and we got some chips for the ride home. And then for my daughter Serena, I got her a New Year's gift pretty early. I got her the Hearth and Hand portable Bluetooth radio. She kind of likes like the vintage style look like I do. So I'm gonna have to tuck this away before she gets home. For the discounted candy, I only bought one bag since we really didn't need two. This is plenty for us. Um, my husband already bought some candy a couple days ago, so we really didn't need too much. For our very late lunch, I'm just gonna make some chicken breast salad on top of the whole wheat bread. So that will hold us off until I make the chicken teriyaki for tonight. And that's also going to be part of a new video. It's already about 3.45 in the afternoon. I kind of like sat down right after Target. I was just kind of tired. I also ate some of the rice that we still have left over from breakfast. This was really good. We have a lot of garlic in here. For the chicken salad, I'm making it homemade. So I have this Costco chicken breast in a can and I bought this earlier this year. I checked the expiration date and it did say 2026. So I still have plenty of time to use it. I also have this ranch seasoning from Dollar Tree and then I have celery salt from Target from another purchase. 
and then I have ShopRite's bowl and basket brand of mayonnaise. And then in this bowl, I have two stalks of celery that is chopped. And so I'm gonna put everything together and then put it onto the whole wheat toast. I may add some lettuce and some cheese if I'm in the mood for it, but this is pretty much like a last minute put together chicken salad sandwich. Here's our late lunch, early dinner chicken sandwich. I did grill it like a grilled cheese and put a slice of cheese in the middle. And then I served it with a few pieces of celery. Um, I don't know what happened. Everything was pretty much a blur. I just kind of like laid down on the couch. I was just like tired for some reason and I don't know why. So anyway, it's 12 o'clock now and I'm just taking off my makeup and I'm not sure. Um, maybe I'm, I have a little sickness because my throat has been hurting me for a couple days. I just did a COVID test and I, it sounds like my alarm just went off. So I'm going to go check on that. But yeah, I'm not the one to be napping for this long, especially if I didn't work. For dinner, I didn't even cook the chicken shiitake dish. Everybody pretty much just ate of what we had. We still had some like fried rice left. My husband bought pizza from 7-Eleven. Yeah, I mean, I feel slightly warm, not really. Just like, you know, if you're under the covers, kind of warm. So anyway, I'm going to just take off my makeup and then get ready for bed. I'm going to check on a COVID test to see if it's what the results are. And then tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment. So I might even get uh, another COVID test um, through the pharmacy, not through the doctor because I don't want to get charged. Yeah, that's pretty much my evening. Um, I'm sorry I kind of ended it with like boring uh, footage here in the bathroom. But yeah, I'm just take off my makeup and and get the night done. All right, so this is my COVID test. It's negative, so could think it's negative. Though I do feel a sore throat, so it could be something else. Anyway, this is the COVID test that I took. It is free from the government. If I can find the link um, to the free COVID test, I will link it below in the description. All right, so I gotta tidy up this kitchen before I head to bed and put this chicken back in my refrigerator and cook this chicken for tomorrow thanks for watching my three-day weekend vlog i did do a lot of filming on saturday for the casa pizza video and the level 8 video that i still need to edit those videos may run into the next year as i'm filming videos pertaining to this time of the year click on the notification bell to be notified when they are posted please like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time